Let's talk about interpupillary distance. Uh, it's a pretty simple explanation. Um, each person's eyes are going to be set a different distance apart. So the binocular needs to be able to compensate for that. Um, and what you'll find is that most binoculars have a center hinge on them. Um, you can see as you bend this hinge, these uh, eye pieces get either closer or further apart. So it's important that you bend this hinge so that it's set just for your eyes and that way you can get the whole field of view through the binocular. One interesting thing that Vortex um, has come up that we've designed is that you'll notice I'm wearing a, a harness strap which is a really popular accessory for binoculars and um, the reason is is because it holds the binoculars tight to your chest they're not flopping all around uh, when you're hiking through uh, the woods and stuff like that so um, but one of the problems with the harness strap is that um, let's say you're sitting in a tree stand, you've got your bow in one hand or your rifle in one hand and you don't want to reach around to set it on a hook because maybe you've got a deer coming in or something like that but you want to be able to glass that deer to see how big it is. Well you've got one hand but you can see when I pull this binocular up to my eyes this strap is putting a lot of tension on it and oftentimes what happens is that it collapses that hinge because you're not using both hands. You've got your rifle or your bow in the other hand. So what we've developed is uh, this device called the binoc lock. And what the binoc lock is, is it's a real simple mechanism that attaches to any binocular that's got a tripod socket in it. And as you can see, um, it, it's got two little arms on it and those arms can be positioned f closer together or further apart and if you look at this angle here I call it it's like a poker chip you know it, it once this uh, tripod socket is tightened down those teeth bite into each other and that binocular will no longer turn so the binocular will only go down to what your inner pupillary distance is and that ensures that if you're using one hand you've only got one hand free and you pull those binoculars up to, to your eyes to look through you're not going to have that hinge collapse on.